Welcome. My name is Reverend Craig Watson. I'm Associate Minister here at St Peter's Halliwell. We we'll continue our reflections on the Easter story and we've reached the point where during Thursday night, Friday morning, Jesus is taken before the Roman governor. The story we're about to hear takes place in the early hours of the morning. Then the entire council took Jesus to Pilate, the Roman governor. They began to state their case. This man has been leading our people astray by telling them not to pay their taxes to the Roman government and by claiming he is the Messiah, a king. So Pilate asked him, are you the king of the Jews? Jesus replied, you have said it. Pilate turned to the leading priests and to the crowd and said, I find nothing wrong with this man. Then they became insistent, but he is causing riots by his teaching wherever he goes, all over Judea, from Galilee to Jerusalem. Oh, is he a Galilean? Pilate asked. When they said that he was, Pilate sent him to Herod Antipas, because Galilee was under Herod's jurisdiction, and Herod happened to be in Jerusalem at the time. Herod was delighted at the opportunity to see Jesus, because he had heard about him and had been hoping for a long time to see him perform a miracle. He asked Jesus question after question, but Jesus refused to answer. Meanwhile, the leading priests and the teachers of religious law stood there shouting their accusations. Then Herod and his soldiers began mocking and ridiculing Jesus. Finally, they put a royal robe on him and sent him back to Pilate. Herod and Pilate, who had been enemies before, became friends that day. Then Pilate called together the leading priests and other religious leaders, along with the people, and he announced his verdict. You brought this man to me, accusing him of leading a revolt. I have examined him thoroughly on this point in your presence and find him innocent. Herod came to the same conclusion and sent him back to us. Nothing this man has done calls for the death penalty, so I will have him flogged and then I will release him. Then a mighty roar rose from the crowd, and with one voice they shouted, Kill him, and release Barabbas to us. Barabbas was in prison for taking part in an insurrection in Jerusalem against the government, and for murder. Pilate argued with them, because he wanted to release Jesus, but they kept shouting, Crucify him! Crucify him! For the third time he demanded, Why? What crime has he committed? I have found no reason to sentence him to death, so I will have him flogged, and then I will release him. But the mob shouted louder and louder, demanding that Jesus be crucified, and their voices prevailed. So Pilate sentenced Jesus to die, as they demanded. As they had requested, he released Barabbas, the man in prison for insurrection and murder. But he turned Jesus over to them to do as they wish. By this stage, Jesus had been awake for a full 24 hours. I wonder, have we ever had that experience? Tiredness makes us emotional, prone to overreact when provoked. Yet Jesus keeps it together. He resists the temptation to perform a miracle for Herod's entertainment, even though he knows it will turn Herod against him. This contrasts with Pilate, the Roman governor, who declares Jesus innocent and yet allows his execution. As we consider these events, we can ask ourselves the question, do I choose the right way or the easy way? Sometimes they are one and the same, but sometimes they are not. Today, will we resolve to follow Jesus' example to choose the right way? whether it is the easy way or not, and not be swayed by those around us as Pilate was all those years ago. Dear Heavenly Father, even as the storm rages around us, we know you are with us. You are our rock, our refuge, our stronghold in times of trouble. 
Fill us with confidence and courage, Lord. Help us to be braver and kinder. Strengthen your church to stand firm on your word. Give us wisdom. We ask this in Jesus' name.